Welcome into the studio. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Janice. I've been a graphic designer for large corporations and ad agencies in Manhattan. And now I've turned my efforts over to painting. For the last couple of years, I've been working with specifically oil paints and then slowly incorporated other materials such as gesso, cement, um, other household items, cloth, um, putty, different types of surfaces that I could manipulate uh, similarly to paint but that had more body. And then um, beyond that have now gotten into the use of acrylic paints. So I wanted to touch upon the um, differences of working with acrylic versus oil paint and how you can build your composition accordingly. Um, you'll see some paintings behind me. Um, generally speaking, um, I've worked intuitively and then the body of the painting would then morph over time, transition and develop. I never came into the painting with any preconceived notion of really what I wanted to build or develop, but it just manifested over time. In the work I wanted to talk about today was how do you go about building a composition when you have a rough idea in mind and you are apprehensive about approaching the canvas because you don't want to make a so-called mistake. Um, but be rest assured that within art, there are really no mistakes. It could take you in a completely unexpected direction, which many times becomes actually a blessing uh, because those are not something that you would have thought on your own or um, had the courage to explore. So, um, let me show you some examples of how I took a sketch, which I did a number of years ago, mounted that onto a stretch canvas, and then um, was kind of cautious about working right onto the top of that imagery and decided to work in this method. So I took a few photographs of the canvas itself where I had a, a very rough, sketch of this um, human form laying down. I then used these Sharpie kind of wax crayons, which I've discussed before. They glide on top of the surface of the four by six glossy photograph uh, paper. And I can manipulate my image according to you know, any number of needs. Again, these have a pull string so I can just easily pull this down, unwind the tip of this paper and it exposes more the tip of the wax. So here I've worked around the image which I was um, referring to earlier. I've laid down, let's say a block of blue and then on top of that I've included white to soften that to make a lighter blue. Again here, I've laid down blue, I've added yellow to indicate a green ground. Um, there's a limitation because there's only a certain amount of uh, basic colors available in these pencils, but I can get a rough idea on composition, not so much color. Um, and then I've indicated different ways to address how the figure is going to sit within my picture plane. And here I've got it vertically, um, which is called a portrait as opposed to landscape, which is a horizontal format. So I can refer back to these sketches. Um, I could of course sketch this by hand, but this is such a quick um, way to progress my imagery that, you know, the whole thing here took 15 minutes. And then I can look at any number of images here and refer back to my larger piece that I'm working on. 
And upon completion, I can refer back to these and build a series if I'd like. Um, there is no obligation, of course, to stay true to what's being shown in front of me here. This is just a jumping off point, and then I can go back to my canvas and kind of work in stages. I can also re-photograph the canvas where I've um, jumped from this point and applied this onto the canvas and then re-photograph that and then rework the canvas and do it in stages. But more, um, the more confidence that I have about my abilities as a painter, the less I might need to do that because the painting, regardless of uh, the medium I'm working in, there's a sense of uh, uniqueness and confidence that comes over time in building one's work. Um, so you have to kind of just run with that and, um, you know, accept that. So um, anyway, that's just one method of working with imagery and how to develop your unique sensibilities and composition. Um, again, these are the um, wax china markers. They come in a very limited range, about five colors for this particular brand. But within the scope of that, um, I can kind of build my um, saturation and mix of colors um, to just kind of do quick drafts. So hope this helps and look forward to seeing you again in the studio.